Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Greetings, greetings, greetings. Good evening, fellow countrymen and women. Thank you for tuning into this broadcast. Uh, quickly share this uh, broadcast, share it, share it so that um, those whom it concerns can be able to be updated about the issue that I want to talk about. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the issue facing the newly employed nurses, the newly recruited nurses. As you are aware, the government, the new Don government, embarked on a massive recruitment exercise for teachers as well as nurses. I think there are about over 11,000 or so health staff that were, that were employed in the Ministry of Health. And uh, it's a good thing. A lot of people, for the first time in so many years after completing their, 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 their college, have had an opportunity to be employed in government. It's a very, very good thing. It's a big step for the new Don government. It's even a bigger step for the families and the individuals who are fortunate enough to be employed. However, this employment has its own challenges. It has its own crisis. And these are crises which I feel shouldn't be there in the first place. Look, the president's job is very simple, to give policy direction on so many matters concerning the economy, uh, socio-economic affairs. And regarding labor, he's made this policy directive to say so many people have to be employed. And it's been done. The budget line is there. Now, where is the problem with these people being given letters? Because yesterday, you do know that I helped one young lady, Lindiwe Banda, who was uh, kept waiting for over two weeks. Two weeks after she had uh, uh, went to she went to collect her letter, and by the way, when she if she was waiting for her letter, she wasn't given that letter. It she was just waiting in darkness. It took UTH to call her to say, "You, your appointment letter is here. Why are you not reporting for work?" And she said, ah, "But nobody has called me to say my letter was there." When she went there, she found that there was an error on her letter. The NRC wasn't correct. She was told to go back and um, uh, have those corrections made. She made them and they told her come after two days. Now, we must understand that, uh, you know, when it comes to these issues of uh, giving people appointment letters, it should not be a thing that should take two months or three months for what? Why should it take that long? When the budget has been put, the policy, the presidential policy has been issued, employ these people. The Minister of Health, does it take the Minister of Health have to come down to HR offices to do the work for HR personnel? It shouldn't be done like that. And now, after helping this young lady, we managed to find her letter. I found that actually there was a Pandora's box. There were so many other people that were affected. So many other people that, I don't know, maybe they're in, in their hundreds. We don't know the scale of the problem, but I received a flood of requests to say, Honorable, even us here in Choma, in Mazabuka, in Chipata, there are newly employed nurses who haven't been given their letters. And what is sad is that, uh, you know, these young ladies, uh, some of course not all nurses are, <laughs> are ladies. There might be male people there, but generally we know that uh, nurses, most nurses are ladies. These young ladies, the way they were being treated, the stories that I heard, I think uh, it's cause for concern. These people appeared in the newspaper. That's where the advert, or rather the, the publishing, of all those that qualified, or those qualified, those, those that qualified to be employed. That's where it was made in the newspaper. It was there in black and white. Now there was the issue of no, you're not in the database. You remember that issue? No, you're not in the database. You're in the paper, but you're not in the database. The hardworking Minister of Health, Honorable Siwa Masebo, gave a policy directive to say, as long as your name was published in the newspaper, you are safe. Just follow up with the provincial health offices the problem will be sorted out and that's what many of these young ladies did but to my dismay some of these young ladies were being attacked to say you why why, why are you not in the database eh? you are some of those people who are entering through through corruption such words coming from a public servant 
the minister says we are publishing names in the newspaper they are they are published obviously the minister has an oversight over those names that were published when those young ladies come to get their letters because they are not in your so-called database maybe because some of you people didn't do your job you call them corrupt that's uncalled for and it's unfair and it's unbecoming of some of you people who are responsible for ensuring facility. these young ladies these young nurses get their letters clinics and hospitals are short of medical staff yet you are there busy sitting on these papers maybe some of them have not even been written because i'm told in trauma in trauma some of these uh, nurses who were not appearing in, the, in your so-called database they were told to write their names and details on a piece of paper on a piece of paper are you sure are we even sure that that piece of paper is still there how do they know that those that those pieces of paper were forwarded to the correct office for them to be entered in the so-called database there is a lot that is amiss and there is a lot that is wrong with the way these uh, uh, recruitments are happening people shouldn't have they have, they suffered long after they completed college they suffered and they sweated and they stressed over getting a job now that they've been blessed with a job you are stressing them again to say you are not happening you are not in the in the database you give them procedures to follow they follow and then they have to wait for two months what is happening huh what is happening I for one know that the, the the president means well he gave policy directive on that employment we applaud him for that we applaud the new don government for that i know for one that uh, honorable silvi masewo is a very very serious person when it comes to issues of running uh, her ministry she's been on top of things as far as all the issues concerning health uh, are concerned and she's even been on top of this employment issue so why are you the officers who are responsible for executing policy for executing employment for typing appointment letters why are you forcing these ladies young nurses to be trooping to be some of them even camped in osaka they come from as far as chipata in choma things are not moving there they are here camped uh, in osaka eh? two months you are not giving them their letter why are you holding on to their letters no, no, no. Stop stressing people. Stop stressing people and stop stressing patients. Because at the end of the day, it is the citizens, the patients who benefit from this employment. Huh? All the hospitals, all the clinics, most of them are suffering from lack of staff. But yet you are there. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing. So I think my appeal, my appeal is to the provincial health office. Please put your house in order put your house in order you are aware about this issue of the newly employed nurses who have who are not happy, happy some of them are not the major issues that most of them did not appear in the database put them in the database give them their appointment letters huh? because at the end of the day we don't want to have issues where you are going to say no these people who were published in your newspaper they have never reported for work so we are replacing them because that, 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 that is obviously the suspicion that you are bound. Some of them are going to be left out. They, were, they appeared there in the paper. They were not in the database. We told them what to do. They did what they, they, they are part. Then because you have not done your job, you are going to blame these same people to say, you are not reporting at your stations of duty. How do they report to the stations of duty when the letters are not there? And how are they supposed to know that letters have been, have been distributed? Because you are not contacting them. Some of them, their letters might be marooned in the various stations and postings where they are supposed to be but you have not communicated to them a case in point is this this at uth the letter was there did you communicate that you had sent a letter to the station how are they supposed to know are they supposed to be reporting to the provincial health office every every morning knocking on your door to say has my letter gone or are they supposed to go to their stations and wait if they go to their stations and wait they are not yet on the payroll how do you expect them to survive why are you punishing these young people these young nurses who are eager to work eager to serve in the various clinics and hospitals and the health institutions of this country why are you punishing them why are you stressing them more it's uncalled for it's uncalled for anyway please let's ensure to say that all those nurses that were employed not even one should be replaced because you are being blamed to say eh, no your name you're, you're, you are not you are not reporting for work at your station because we we know what used to happen in the previous regime names will come out letters will come out people will sit on them and claim we have sent the letters when the owners of those letters don't report they said we are replacing them because they haven't reported for work 
those those gymnastics those gymnastics are not going to be entertained not even one not even one newly employed business or not newly employed health staff must be left out on the grounds that they did not report for work because they, they, they because you didn't notify them no it is your baby to inform them wherever they are you are going to find them and inform all of them all of them if they are 300 if they are 1000 you are going to inform all of them to say your names are in the database and in fact and in fact they must be another list of names republished in your paper say these are the ones we were not in the database we have republished their oh, their letters of appointment are out can they report to their stations that's how it should be not keeping people in the dark they are complaining they are crying we have been here we have been here in choma in in, in, in monze in in Chipata, in solwezi they are everywhere and they are crying to say we are we don't know what is happening we still resubmitted our details we, we reapplied because that's what they were taught to say if you're not in the database just reapply and attach a copy of the newspaper clipping where your name is then we'll do the rest up to now z the culture work culture the work culture in the civil service not everyone some offices in the civil service and i've been through it because this is what we go through at the city council just here it's what we go through every day our letters i move with a bag of letters here which i've written to the Lusaka city council there is no department or director where i've never written a written a letter i've got bags of them they are pending hey yesterday i was only called by public health to say no eh, what are about those places where you complain to say they are, there's a lot of noise and illegal brewing yeah, those people that have established to masha beans which are making noise for people in the neighborhood when they want to see to sleep we are ready for inspection i said what after three months you're calling me today is that how we are going to work the culture in government an action to a letter a complaint comes after three months when we tell you to say there is illegal building going on here you sit and wait after they put the roofing then we should have issues of going back and say let's demolish when the, when the issues are at foundation stage where you can cut them off the right that's right there you are never there to be seen just opposite here where i am is the ring road the bombay drainage here there are green panels fencings steel fencings which are there every day they are being stolen every day they are being uh, they are being stolen yeah, they are being vandalized i've reported to say can you please move in remove these people who have established themselves illegally they are the ones who are, who are stealing vandalizing public infrastructure which was put in at, on, at put up at a very great cost no first let us sit with zesco we write a notice together with council where we issue that notice see that's when you come by the time you're going to come all the steel panels will be stolen the inertia the work culture in work in, in government it leaves much to be desired so this work culture which is a, a, in a provincial health office i think it should change it should change we don't want to start pointing fingers at officers and offices and saying these are not working just do your job you you have a job you are getting a salary let these young ladies get their salaries their jobs they have suffered for this they have studied for this let them start enjoying don't hold them back any longer please so we are still on this issue we are monitoring the issue i'm told that maybe tomorrow or the other day they, they will be given their letters just because this thing has now blown up in the media i don't know why why officers like to work when things blow out in the media should we have to call out your officers and call out your names here on the media for you to start working so we are waiting and seeing tomorrow is thursday and friday we'll see if these let if these nurses are going to receive their letters if they don't receive their letters i think action will be taken we will propose for very strong action to be taken we are going to compile a list of all those names and we'll ask questions what is happening to these nurses who are, who are newly employed why is it that they are still marooned at home why are they not being given their letters of appointment what is the problem are you trying to replace them with your relatives are you trying to replace them with people maybe who have given you something because you know in this administration we are not entertaining people who want to to sell out opportunities for others in exchange for something that's corruption we are not tolerating corruption so don't even have that idea of trying to replace these uh, nurses who are supposedly not reporting to our stations because you haven't done your job of giving them appointment letters i'm sure the honorable minister of health honorable sylvia masewo uh, would be very also would be very concerned to hear that she has after doing her job and selecting a committee to do those appointments up to now nurses haven't been deployed it will concern her very much the president will be concerned very much 
we don't want to escalate those issues very far because you know you know how the honorable minister Sylvia Masewo is anything that she has given a directive and it's not being done heads will roll please spare your head and do the right thing thank you very much for sharing thank you very much for listening i'll keep you updated on this matter good night Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Pondom. I love you, peace, I gotta go.